Kia ora everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, as it's the day before Anzac Day, I thought I'd do some baking. I don't often do baking, I prefer to do um, cooking. But today we're doing Anzac biscuits. Here's my finished product. Enjoy! Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my recipe on my Thermomix. Because it's internet connected, any new recipes that come up on the Cook I Do recipe platform will automatically, automatically come through to my Thermomix. So what I'm going to do now is just do a search for Anzac. And here's our biscuits. There we go. So I've got the oven already preheating to 160 degrees. I have lined my two baking trays. Unfortunately, I only have one Thermomix baking mat, so um, I'm probably going to have to order another one. I know I've got a couple of customers who've got these on back order. Um, they will be shipping as soon as um, isolation is done. So, first step is we're going to put in 120 grams of butter. Next, we're going to add 100 grams of golden syrup. I just nuked it so it's a bit more runny. This will go straight in. Alrighty. Put our lid on. And the Thermomix is now going to heat the mixture up to 60 degrees and hold it there for two minutes while it stirs it. So I did get asked last week, why do I pre-weigh my ingredients if the Thermomix has got scales built in? The reason is simple and that is um, I like to be more organised when I'm doing a video. And if you were to see me actually cooking at home live, um, you would see I'll be putting everything straight in the Thermomix bowl and the Thermomix will be doing the weighing for me. So this is just to make things easier. Alrighty, we are almost done. So now my golden syrup and my butter has been heated up. And what we have now is a sort of um, a caramel consistency. Next, scrape down the sides. Again all I'm doing is just following the instructions on the screen. Next step, adding one teaspoon of bicarb. This is when it gets interesting. Next, what it's doing at the moment is just mixing that together for five seconds. I'm adding in my 100 grams of rolled oats. Um, as previously said I've got this pre-weighed but what I can do is just zero the scales and hopefully what I tip in will be the 100 I weighed in earlier. Here we go. 150 grams of plain flour. Seventy grams of light brown sugar. Fifty grams of desiccated coconut. I'm using shredded coconut. So what I've got here is my mix ready to go. So you'll see it's um, quite thick. And what we're going to do now is just put this on spoonfuls on our pre-prepared trays. All 
right, so that's my mixture. Um, they're placed into um, basically tablespoon sized cookies and they're slightly pushed out a bit. And these now go into the oven. Right, so here are our, our, our Anzac biscuits after they've been baking for about 12 minutes. You can either have these hot, um, they're really, really nice if they're warm with a big blob of vanilla ice cream on top, or you can wait till they're cold and eat them the traditional way. Thanks for watching everyone. If you'd like to um, get a Thermomix on your bench, or if you'd like to see a demo of any of its features, get in touch, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great Anzac Day tomorrow. See you later.